Hello everyone, and welcome to Don't Starve, Reign of Giants. Where there's a Wilson, there's terror and all kinds of things going on. This is the DLC to Don't Starve. Now, some of you probably saw me some time ago doing a live stream, several live streams of the base Don't Starve. Um, I kind of somewhat of a veteran of this game, at least somewhat. I played it a lot not long after it had come out officially, though actually I I played it, uh, well, before Caves were in, it was not long after Sanity had been introduced, but I had stopped playing it before Caves came out of beta. So there, there are some things that um, they had added since I played. When I played the live stream, they even added ruins, which during the live stream I never actually even went down into a cave. But the Don't Starve Reign of Giants DLC has added so much more to this game and has made it a whole lot tougher, which for someone like me who got really good at surviving this game, now. Um, of course, people will say that they saw me, I was terrible at adventure mode, yes, I'm terrible at adventure mode, but as for the base game, yes, I was, you know, I could survive, it wasn't a thing. So, we're gonna start off, got a fresh palette going on here, uh, I'm actually very excited about this, I've been wanting to play this for such a long time since it came out, I got the DLC, well, actually, so in game, uh, bought me the DLC the day it came out. I just haven't had a chance to play it, and so I, I know a little bit about it. Um, I did a little bit of research, just enough to kind of help me get to my my, my feet on this. So we, we we've got some characters unlocked. We've actually and they've added some new characters apparently. So um, and I know when I played on the live stream, they had even updated the characters and some of their mechanics. But, considering we're starting a new world that's going to be much tougher, I'm going to go with the fire starter. I think she'll give me kind of the uh, the best advantage, possibly, uh, at least with her sanity. So, she's immune to fire, she has a sweet lighter, and lights fires when she's nervous. So, alright. We're going to do this. New game! Reign of Giants is checked. Don't worry about this other stuff, and let's go. I'm so I've been I've been wanting to play this so much. I'm I'm finally glad to have some time to actually just actually do it. All right. A lot of loading going on. It's gonna have all kinds of new things, new biomes, new creatures, new mechanics. And this bastard is still here. Find something to eat before night comes, yes. They've added new biomes, they've even added new seasons. And all I've got is this crummy lighter. Alright, so... The basics of survival. We need... Twigs. We need a lot of stuff, actually. See, these are birch nuts, I think? Are we in autumn time? Now, they, they say you can start in one of a few different seasons. You either start in spring, summer, or fall. Considering the colors of the leaves, we might be in autumn. Which, they say, is actually the easier time. Oh, flint, here's what we need. Perfect. So, I can make my first tool. An axe. Because we will need wood. Oh, salmon furrows. Because we're gonna need a fire tonight. Before it gets dark, here's our day meter. Birch nuts. Awesome. So I think we are in the fall season because we've got more than one birch nut and you can plant them too. Hang on. <laughs> plant. There we go. Alright. Because they. Say I think with birch nuts is they'll drop one in the summer, and if they're fully grown in the fall, they'll actually grow more. Uh, drop more birch nuts. So we'll, we'll find out. We need some more wood. Now, 
as this series rolls out, hopefully we'll see some of the other, well, we'll definitely see some of the other mechanics. These, these burrows, these are new. Right now we need to gather up as much stuff as I can, including food. It looks like we're kind of in a birchy biome. I haven't seen, I haven't actually seen these before. Flint is very important. Um, I haven't actually watched any playthroughs of the game because I wanted to keep as much of it fresh as possible. You know, I, like I say, I did some research into it just enough to kind of keep me on my feet because this is one of those games that, well, it teaches you and sometimes it can teach you kind of brutally. But that's the fun of the game, really. I've, I've been a fan of Don't Starve, I've played it a lot. And I've just been ever so excited for what this will offer. Oh, we got a swamp biome here. I would like to avoid the swamp biome, although those reeds will be good for stuff. Remember this biome. As much grass as I can get my hands on. In fact, pretty much everything I can get my hands on is just super important. Everything from twigs to grass to flint. Now, as you can see, if you've never seen a don't starve before, you have hunger, of course. You don't want to starve. You have sanity, which you don't want to go crazy. And you have your standard health. Now, as you can see, we're getting a little bit on in the day. I'm going to leave those carrots there. So we've got berries nearby. We should be good for hunger tonight. Actually, can I? Oh, can. All right, good. Pickaxe. Because we're gonna need some stones. Stones are also important. Niter. I think they actually gave Niter a bit more importance in this game. So there's something called an endothermic fire, which during the summertime you actually need to keep cool because they've added an overheating mechanic. So in the, in the winter you could already freeze, but now in the summer you can overheat. So I think they actually gave Niter a bit more... Oh, it's one of those things. So yeah. And also, the important thing are golden nuggets. These are incredibly important. Oh, what do we got up here? We already got a... I kind of want to stay away from... Oh! I need to remember where that is. I'm just going to mine up all this I can. And my pickaxe broke. But I can make another. Did that carrot just appear in my inventory, or did I...? I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try out this DLC. I don't know how long this series will roll. I'm gonna try to sur Oh crap, one of those turkey things. Oh, a wormhole! Those will drop the heck out of your sanity, but... They'll, uh, they're good for getting around. If you can afford the sanity loss. I'm just going to pick up everything I possibly can. Still got a little bit of daylight left. Not too worried yet. I'm not going to set up a base camp just yet. Right now it's about kind of exploring for as long as I can. But looks like it's almost night time. Uh, let's see. Light. Fire. There we go. Let's see. Some berries for some food. Now, if you're also not familiar with Don't Starve, your food can go bad. It's one of the other mechanics of the game. Mmm, oh. berries. So, now I'm pretty much kind of just stuck here for the night. You don't want to venture out into the dark. 
because there's Charlie out there, so he has been named. It's a new moon out too, so it's completely pitch. So yeah, there's Charlie. You don't want to get caught in the dark because if you do, Charlie will come after you. Charlie will pretty much kill you instantly, except for her. She can start fires. She's got this little tool. As you can see, so she can see in the dark without a torch. Now you can see she hangs near a fire. That little arrow indicates her sanity is going up, but if I go away, because it's dark, her sanity goes down. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, what is that? Okay. Well, I know it's Reign of Giants. There's all kinds of new creatures out there in the dark. Come on, daylight. I want daylight. Can I have daylight? Ah, daylight. Awesome. Alright, so her sanity maintained through the night because she hung close to the fire. Oh. Got a graveyard. Alright. Now exploring is... How do I access the map? Tab. Alright. So as you can see... Okay. That's a new thing. Glaciers I've seen. In the winter, you can get ice from them. Alright. So where was that thing, the box thing? It doesn't show up on the map, darn it. I'll have to remember where that is, because that's, that's going to be important. So one thing while I'm exploring, I need to find a good place to bed down. Somewhere a bit more permanent. I need to set up a base camp, but right now it's important to look around. Find out a good place. Now the problem with biomes like this, not very abundant in anything, and they got really creepy, lumpy-looking trees. Uh, saplings. Right now we're on day two. So far so good. We're gonna survive this, no problem. I'm, I'm pretty pro at don't starve. I'm not saying I'm the best, but. At least before Reign of Giants, I was pretty darn good. Except for Adventure Mode. I sucked at Adventure Mode. But you know that, and we don't need to repeat that. Right? Nobody's gonna repeat that? Oh, seats. Important. So yeah, right now, it's all on exploring. Finding a good place to camp out. Alright. With rocks, about 40 is in a stack. So we'll hold that for now. I don't want to. I don't want to. I've got not many inventory slots left. But gold. Well, watch this. I said that. Yeah. More rocks. Gold nuggets are important. All right. So if I, I haven't been up here yet. So more exploring. Beehives. Pick up the rocks since I'm stacking them anyway. Alright, so definitely not spring, because one thing I saw is in the spring, bees are angry. They've made bees angry in the spring. Oh, tumbleweed. Oh, hang on. Ugh, come here, come here. Ooh. Tumbleweeds. Oh, I hear a... Tumbleweeds are a good place. Oh, what is that? That's new. Oh, there's vultures! This is a desert biome. Tumbleweeds are supposedly a good way to get renew a uh, renewable... renewable resource... Uh, non-renewable resources. Leaves. I'm hearing an accordion creature. What the hell is that? Alright, 
So, I'm kind of avoiding the ice biome for now. Oh, there's another wormhole. Still getting plenty of sticks. Oh no, it's raining! And here enters the new mechanic. Wetness. Wetness is a factor, but... Yeah, see, one of the things they say is... Actually, I need to cut you down. I need more wood. But when it rains, you get waterlogged. And there are... A, and waterlogged can affect your items, but if you stand under a tree, it supposedly slows that effect down. So you can actually prevent from getting too incredibly waterlogged by just standing under a tree. Now, plant a couple. Yeah, I think we're in autumn time. Okay, looks like the rain's coming to us. Have I circled around? Oh, I have. I circled around. Awesome. I think I'm gonna need more food, though. Berry bushes. So yeah, I become waterlogged. And eventually my items can become waterlogged. In fact, it sounds like I'm a bit waterlogged, but I'm starting to dry off because it stopped raining. Did I go down here? Yeah, down here was the swampy area. Did I go down here? I kind of want to avoid old swampy. Eat some berries. Is that all the berries I found? Ooh, ooh, more berries. What's this? Oh! This will be good. Check this out. This... is a touchstone. Now, one of the things about this game is, if you die, that's it. This game is hardcore mode. But there are ways to preserve your life. Like that is a touchstone, so if I die, I will respawn there. Just probably get some more wood. It's definitely autumn time. Definitely. So we're getting more birch nuts than... So that's part of the... Me I know that's part of the new mechanic, so... Alright. Uh oh, uh oh, it's night time. It's night time. Try to go as far as I can. Uh, stay away from things, though. Because things burn. Oh, here we go. Night time! Alright, we're gonna cook up some more berries. As you can see, I've dried off, so... That meter is now gone. The butterfly wings... I think... I can only eat them. Oh well, that's tasty. So... Alright, so we're on our second night. Still exploring. All kinds of new biomes. We're definitely in autumn time, so we're going to have winter to worry about. Uh, I don't know when winter is coming. What is that? Oh, that's a touchstone. Alright. So we need to start thinking about where to bed down, where to put a permanent base. So, alright, just gather up some grass. I gotta watch my sanity, but the good thing is she's kind of easy to maintain sanity as long as fire is around. I guess she's a bit of a pirate, but watch it. See? If I go out here, she's not in danger. She's not in danger of, uh, being in the dark. So normally if you're out in the dark and it gets dark, you, your sanity drops and Charlie will come for you. Oh, come on, this fire's not gonna hold, is it? Ah! No! So anyway, it looks like we're coming to the end of day two. I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. We haven't really seen much yet. We've seen some rain. We've seen the effects of rain. We've seen some of the new biomes and a couple new creatures. And yes, we've made it on to day three. 
So, this is Don't Starve, I am Moon, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!